Hello everybody, this is Sheldon from Show Rock Art. Welcome to my channel. And I'm just gonna let you know that you see I have a blank space in the background. And that's because I'm turning one of my rooms into a studio for me to do my artwork in. So yeah, you're gonna miss some of the uh, aquarium sounds, but not always because I do have another aquarium over there, so. It may run low of water, so you may still get some of the aquarium sound. But today I'm going to be doing this straight pour, and I'm going to call this, um, I guess, Bridge or Road to Asgard. And if anybody might know about the whole Avengers and Thor and all that, that's where Thor came from. And so it kind of gives you that feel of that. Um, realm of Asgard. So um, I'm going to show you how I get this, did this piece and this is a straight pour and it has some cloudy effects to it as well so let's get over to the canvas and show well this is a canvas but you understand let's get over to you the canvas as to see how I created this piece okay thank you Hello everybody, this is Sheldon from Show Rock Art. Welcome to my channel. Um, I've been working on these um, straight pours for a little bit. And it's funny how some of the things turn out for you in a test, but then when you actually do on a piece, it changes up on you. So hopefully this one don't change up on me. Um, the colors that I'm using is, um, this is Carmen. Um, by color art it has um, a little touch of satin enamel in there to kind of help with uh, some of the cloud effects but it also has um, vivid enamel and I brightened it back up with a little bit of the um, red orange vermilion of the vivid intense um, fluid, art, fluid um, acrylic so that's that color there. Um, this here, uh, let me see how, if you can see it. Oh, no wonder, you probably can't see it. So this here is, um, this is called um, Juniper Green. But this is a chameleon color. And Then this one, of course, is my cloud mix of satin enamel and um, artist loft white, along with um, the Vallejo pearl medium. So that's my cloud mixture there. This one is Pandora Star that um, I used on Montmartre. Oh, I hate my horrible lighting. Um, I'll pull it up out of the cup though, so you can see it. There you go. So, this is, this is Montmartre um, purple, and I added some of the Color Art um, Pandora Star to give it some shimmer. Um, this is Peacock Feather. With a little bit, with a little bit of satin enamel mixed in with it, so it lightened it up a bit. And the peacock feather is also uh, a primary element of color art. And then this here is, I think it's called, I can't remember, something creative, but this is a yellow um, by them. So that's it there. So hopefully these colors will give me the effect that I was looking for. I got close on my test piece. I'll show you that of what I'm looking for. But it didn't quite happen this way on that. So we're going to try this again. So there's my cup. Nice and layered. So we're going to Pour this puppy out. 
and see how see what happens. All right. Maybe I'll pour from the side this time. Maybe this will make a little bit of a difference. Off the side action didn't, uh, didn't hurt too bad. But this cloud mixture is actually um, doing its work. That was an interesting pour out because I poured it from the side. I just wanted to try something different. And I'm gonna move these colors around slowly. Be careful. Be very um, uh, that these colors percolate a little bit. Cause James Lucas says, got to let the percolate. Uh, move, some, move some colors around. to develop some. Yeah, I think the last couple of times I made my cloud mix way too thin. I like the little sunset action on this side and this side. Of course, that um, the juniper green is going to steal the show once it dries. Okay, let me let this sit for a second before I, uh, I spin it off. I just wanted the, the paint to react a bit. I feel if I torch it, it's gonna give me all these little freckles that I don't want. So I'm not gonna torch it this time like I did the last time. But I'm still digging the way these colors are turning out. Let some of those cells grow. Some of those fingerlings come up. Some of those clouds. 
pop up. This is all the old color, which I'm banking on, which I am banking on to fly off. So I can keep a lot of this bright red and all that to stay on. That was, that's my hope. And because I have plenty of Floatrol in here, even if I have a lot of, a lot of paint on this canvas, and it takes a while to dry, it should not crack. So let's give it a little bit of a spin and see where we are. Okay, I'll get you in the center first. Something told me, Sheldon, record this. Because I wasn't going to record it at first. I was just going to do it and post the picture. But I'm glad I did record this. I think I'm going to take a little bit more off. So some of this more, some more of this can come off on this side here. Almost there. Maybe I can just, instead of spinning it, get more color off. Maybe I can just tilt it. Just a little bit off on that side there. Slowly till we can do that. Just over there. Some more of that brown color off. And goodbye. Okay, good. So Bring that back for a second. Okay. Bring you back to the middle. All right. That's good. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to clear a spot on my drying area, and I'll get you down for a closer look. All right. Okay, folks, here you are. A close up of the flyover of this piece. I love the way these colors turned out. Look at that sunset area over on this side and the sunset area on this side with the reds. And you have this purple that's in there on this top and bottom. And then in that spiral, you got all that pearl mix that's there. And some of the yellows popped up in there. Got some beautiful fingerlings with the blues and the yellows that popped up in there. Nice effect of that. And I love pouring it out of the side. Give me this nice little ridge of white right there. And I was able to spiral it, pouring out of the side. It gives me a split cup feel, even though it's not a split cup. So I really like the way this one turned out. I'm very happy with this, and I'm sure I'll be able to do another one that had more of the uh, straight pour feel to it. But I like the way this one um, has a spiral look to it as well. 
So thank you for watching. This is Sheldon from Shark Art. And again, I say happy pouring. Bye-bye.